Number 10. The Akrano Plan The Akrano Plan is not a plane and it's not a boat, but it is very unique. It was once used by the Russians as a specialized craft that flew like an airplane, but only above the surface of the water. It was built during the Cold War, the Soviet Union's attempt at making an aircraft that could utilize the wing and ground effect. This essentially meant that the Akrano plan could skim the surface of the water at the speed of a turbojet at around 373 miles per hour without being detected by radar. The ship would be able to evade all detection by its enemies, then deploy missiles once close enough to enemy ships. And yes, it could deploy a nuclear warhead. Only one of these disasters was ever built. It simply wasn't effective in large bodies of water. Very recently, it was spotted stranded near a beach in the Caspian Sea. It was supposedly being towed to a naval base to be put on display at a museum when something went wrong and the Akrano plan broke away. It's now an abandoned vehicle in the middle of nowhere Russia and the only one of its kind in existence. Number 9. The Mangrove Boat There has been a ship abandoned in Australia for about a hundred years. It's not far from the shore. You could probably skip a rock all the way to it if you had a good enough arm. But if you didn't know what you were looking at, you might think the ship was a natural island. Because it's been in the water for so long, trees have started to grow out of it. There's an entire mangrove forest slowly taking over the wreckage of what was once the SS city of Adelaide. The wreckage is in Cockle Bay Magnetic Island. The ship itself launched for the first time in 1863 from Glasgow, Scotland. It was to shuttle passengers between popular destinations like Sydney and Honolulu. But then, after 30 years of service, the boat stopped ferrying passengers and was used to store coal. In 1912, it caught fire and burned for nearly a week before the flames were finally put out. It was being towed away to be used as an artificial breakwater in Picnic Bay when it ran aground in Cockle Bay. And over a century later, it's still there. Number 8. The Lost Super Heavy Prototype During World War II, the United States were working hard to build vehicles strong enough to break through the German defenses and to be tough enough for an invasion of the Japanese mainland. They built two prototypes of a super heavy armored tank in 1945. It was called the T-28 Super Heavy Tank. This machine would be 95 tons. It would have 12-inch armor plating and a fixed 105mm turret. It was also powered by a behemoth of a Ford V8 engine that could move the beast at 8 miles per hour. The Army originally wanted to build five of these monsters, but when the first working prototype was completed in 1945, they decided to test it before they kept going. The test did not go well. The T-28 was scrapped after an engine fire pretty much destroyed it. The second one fared quite a bit better, but the program was scrapped anyway. The Army then forgot about the T-28. For the next 27 years, the only prototype of this vehicle sat abandoned in a field. Nobody discovered the thing until 1974 with the tank completely covered in weeds and bushes. Thankfully, this amazing piece of history was quickly moved to the Patton Museum of Cavalry and Armor at Fort Knox, Kentucky. Number 7. The Lost Traffic Jam In a Belgian forest, there's a spooky collection of vintage cars sitting abandoned. It looks like something you'd see 30 years after the apocalypse. It's a traffic jam in the middle of a bunch of trees, with the cars completely rusted to junk. Grass and weeds are growing through the vehicles, all the glass is shattered, and some of the cars even have trees growing out of their hoods. There are about 500 vehicles in this traffic jam, allegedly left behind by American soldiers who had been stationed in Belgium during World War II. When the soldiers went back home, they couldn't ship their cars, so they parked them all neatly in a nearby forest. Over the years, some cars have been scavenged by collectors, others have been taken away and trashed. But to be honest, most of them are still here and still collecting dust in the woods. Like I said before, this really does look like what would happen if there was a traffic jam in the middle of a busy city, then the world suddenly ended and all the people were gone. Number 6. The Abandoned Soviet Space Shuttles During the Cold War, the Soviets initiated the Buran program. The program was designed to get Russia to space in a big way. They built a launch facility deep in the wilderness of Kazakhstan over 1,500 miles from Moscow. The Buran space shuttle was designed very similarly to the one used by the U.S. They were already four years behind the first shuttle, Enterprise, when they started Buran in 1980. When the Soviets finally revealed their space shuttle in 1988, the New York Times commented that even the paint job was pretty much the same. On November 15, 1988, the Buran shuttle made its one and only flight. Shortly after the mission, the Soviet Union collapsed. The Berlin Wall came down and the Soviets had no more money left to play with spaceships. 
The Buran program was scrapped, and so were the two shuttles that the Soviets had been working on. And they're still abandoned today in the original facility, which is located at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The ships are hiding in disused hangars close to an active spaceport, currently used to send astronauts to the International Space Station. Would you be brave enough to explore the abandoned Buran shuttles in their secured hangars at the Baikonur Cosmodrome? Let us know your thoughts on these forgotten spaceships in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. The Eurostar Train There's a Eurostar train sitting abandoned on the outskirts of Valenciennes, France. Not so long ago, it was a high-speed train capable of going up to 186 miles per hour. It was one of many of the Eurostar Class 373 trains which went into operation back in 1994. They were specifically designed for transporting passengers between the capitals of London, Paris, and Brussels. But beginning in 2016, many of the 373 trains were taken out of service or scrapped altogether. Most of them had only been operational for just over 20 years. This particular train, which is clearly abandoned and filled with graffiti and has grass growing out of it, is technically in storage. But given a few more years, it won't be salvageable. It already looks like it's home to nothing but raccoons and other forest critters. At least 18 of these trains have been scrapped, while countless others have been ditched on old, disused tracks, probably for the foreseeable future. Number 4. The Ghost Bus Tunnel Under the city of Liège in Belgium, there's an abandoned subway tunnel filled with the ghosts of buses, trams, and other creepy transport vehicles. It's one of the most famous abandoned destinations in Europe, especially since it looks like a scene out of The Walking Dead, just without the zombies. The tunnel was supposed to become part of a new subway network, but the project was never finished and the city was left with about a mile of tunnel that they couldn't use. They use the space now for storing abandoned transit buses that are old and damaged. Buses, trams, and other vintage treasures that the city doesn't need anymore. It's basically one giant transit museum, except it's off-limits and hidden underground in a spooky tunnel. Number 3. Ghost Ship A mysterious ship has been discovered abandoned off the Irish coast of Cork. The ghost ship likely drifted over a thousand miles to end up in Ireland after it was left at sea for 43 days. According to the information we have from reports coming straight out of Ireland, the ship's crew was last seen aboard in 2018, about 1,400 miles from the coast of Bermuda. The ship is the MV Alta, built in 1979. It was on its way from Greece to Haiti when it got damaged and the crew abandoned ship. But they never told anybody that they abandoned the ship. The Royal Navy didn't discover the vessel for a full year. It was just kind of meandering through the Atlantic Ocean with nobody on it. The MV Alta has no current owner. Nobody renewed its certification like they were supposed to in September of 2018. Now that it's abandoned on the Irish coast, it's basically a big piece of garbage that nobody wants to clean up. It currently poses a danger to other maritime vessels since it's like a floating barricade that anyone could crash into. It'll likely be cleaned up by the Irish, but for now it's still just floating around aimlessly. Number 2. Soviet Helicopters There's an abandoned Air Force base in Russia filled with hundreds of helicopters that have been left to rot. Many of these helicopters are still sitting on the tarmac, lined up as if waiting for war to break out at any minute. But according to photographer Sergei Root, the guy who recently broke into the helicopter graveyard to take these photographs, these vehicles won't be going anywhere. They're about as useless as it gets, since they haven't seen any action in decades. The Air Force Base was once an academy where thousands of young military troops were trained. But the academy was deserted after the fall of the Soviet Union, the airfield was left to its own destruction, and now there are hundreds of helicopters, fighter jets, and all kinds of other great war machines literally falling apart, piece by piece. Number 1. Ancient Relics On Board Usually it's the vehicle itself that we talk about a fascinating abandoned supercar from half a century ago, or a bizarre helicopter abandoned in the forests of Vietnam. But this time, it's what's inside the car that counts. In Iran, 32 historical relics were discovered in the back of an abandoned car that was left in a village. Inside the ordinary vehicle were pieces of pottery, jars, vases, and other artifacts that have been estimated at dating back to the Islamic era. That means around the 8th century AD or over 1,200 years ago. How these relics got into the car is a complete mystery. We know the small village is located on what was once the route of the Silk Road between Tehran and Mashhad. There are plenty of ancient mosques and bathhouses in the region, and it's possible that somebody looted all these treasures from an archaeological site, piled them into their car, and then abandoned it for unknown reasons. 
What's the most incredible abandoned vehicle you've ever seen with your own eyes? Let us know about it in the comments and thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon for more awesome videos right here on American Eye.